Hey there, and welcome back to our latest in our Alien Week ship's buying guide. I'm Dark Hour 717. In reaching the end of our Alien Week experience, today we're going to be looking at one of our other alien ships that are available in the verse, the Banu Defender. Before we get started, do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button and follow on Twitch. Also catch the details at the end of the video on how to enter our June giveaway for the RSI Scorpius with the Stinger Paint, LTI, and two sets of Aslant armor. The Banu Defender is one of the more currently running alien ships that we have in the verse. It is definitely one of those ships I find many people either truly love or hate. It has a unique design with a split cockpit style and an almost biomechanical feel to it. The Banu Defender is seen throughout the verse being used in many different ways from a solo bounty ship to use as a fighter used by occasional pirates. The Defender also offer a variety of uses through its design and abilities, but yet struggles to really find a true following of citizens that swear by it. The Defender is known as a loaner for the Banu Merchantman concept ship and is also available for purchase in-game at Astro Armada in Area 18 out on our corp. This will cost you 2,781,000 AUEC to obtain it. Not available for rent in the game, the only other option is to pledge it and it's going to be available for pledge via the Alien Week event and also in the future through IAE Expo and the pledge cost is going to be 220 US dollars. The Defender is classified as a size 2 light fighter with a roll of combat measuring in at 24 and a half meters long, 24 and a half meters wide and 5 meters high. The Defender's top speed is 203 meters per second with an afterburner speed of 1200 meters per second has a hydrogen fuel capacity of 430,000 liters and a quantum fuel capacity of 2,750 liters with a max crew of two. The construction of the Defender allows for a few more amenities over most light fighters. With its front drop down entrance ramp as you come up you enter into a small living quarter area with beds for two and enough space to run even some box deliveries. But as you move throughout and get into the cockpit on either side you really start to get that feel of almost biomechanical nature and it feels as if the ship itself has a portion that's alive and watching you. When it's in its landing mode it strongly resembles a crab. It has its two large arms supporting the ship alongside its landing gear and once you become airborne and bringing up that landing gear it almost resembles that same crab running around like a child begging its mommy for a hug. But when you enter quantum this thing is really going to blow your mind. All jokes aside though, it is really not a poorly performing ship and is quite able to do a good deal of damage. The Defender is going to come stock with one size 2 Sukaran shield generator, two size 1 ion burst power plants, two size 1 polar coolers, and one size 1 beacon quantum drive. Your Port Olisar to Hurston time is going to be 4 minutes and 35 seconds, Port Olisar to Arcorp 5 minutes and 15 seconds, Port Olisar to Microtech 6 minutes and 14 seconds, which for a light fighter is a very adequate time to make those long distance jumps. Stock weapons are going to be 4 gimbaled size 2 singed tachyon cannons and it's also going to come equipped with 4 size 2 ignite cross section missiles. Though a bit disappointing to see a signal shield generator on this ship, the Sukaran is actually a much loved component by many citizens who like to remove this and use it in combination with an FR-76 shield on other ships much like the Harbinger or the Warden. Initially when introduced, the ability to remove and place this on non-alien ships was not the intent and wasn't even possible at the time, but has since occurred either through a change of mind or a glitch. But in the future, I believe the intent is still to only be able to equip alien tech on alien ships. But we will need to wait to see if that approach is readopted. As stated on its own, in stock configuration, the Defender does do well but can also be improved. Generally, what I do is I'll keep that Sukaran shield, throw on two size one Breton power plants, two size one ultra flow coolers, and I'll leave the one size one beacon quantum drive as it is more than capable of getting you cross verse without having to make fuel stops and no need to change it. I would change the missiles over to four size two Rattlers or Spark two cross section missiles only due to my own personal preference and those are the missiles that I do prefer over the Ignites. So really not many changes overall. The reason for the change to the power plants and the coolers is that it helps with the overclocking of weapons. 
I find that the recovery time when overclocking is vastly shortened going with the updated coolers and the power plant to support those coolers and overclock the weapons and the shields and still have plenty of room to spare. There's no need to change that quantum drive as I stated the beacon is a good drive and changing it is really not necessary or going to offer you any benefit. As for the weapons, the Defender has some very unique weapons in the Tachyon Cannons. Though you can turn them into fixed mounts versus gimbaled, you cannot buy a size 3 Tachyon Cannon in game. Now you can still mount standard weapons in its place if you wish, though I find that overclocking the size 2 Tachyons adds 36% increase to the DPS and makes them very useful and dangerous. So usually, I won't change those weapons at all and I'll keep the Tachyon Cannons. The Banu Defender really is one of those ships that looks don't do it any favors. On a personal level, I admit this is not my favorite ship, and it's mostly due to aesthetics. But performance-wise, I will admit it performs very well. It has speed, maneuverability, and a decent weapon loadout, and I have seen some citizens truly make this a ship that's a very deadly opponent. I myself have been killed more times than I can honestly count by a Defender, and my overall recommendation with the Defender is that I would definitely say if you're a fan of alien design that this is a ship you're going to want to give a try. If you want a good fighter and looks are a lesser concern, then give it a try. I think you will be pleasantly surprised and find a diamond in the rough, though I would definitely recommend doing so through AUEC before doing a pledge. I hope this buying guide has been helpful and you enjoyed it. Feel free to leave a comment below and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and follow on Twitch. Also get your entries in for our June giveaway, the RSI Scorpius with the Stinger Paint and LTI as well as two sets of that Aslan armor. Just subscribe, leave a comment on any video on YouTube or follow on Twitch to get your entries in. And if you do both, you double your chances. Good luck to everybody who enters that. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out the Patreon or Members tab on YouTube. There are some great reward packages and also check out our merch store. Through the end of July 2021, we are offering 20% off all the merchandise on the merch store by using coupon code DHSTREAM20. Catch the streams every Wednesday and Sunday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. And again, thank you everybody for all the amazing support. We love doing this for you and I hope everybody is doing well out there and we will catch you next time.